Hey guys, welcome back to my channel again. My name is Arsalan and today we are on day 15th of building the problem solving skills with the help of Python. If you are very new to this playlist, very new to this channel, let me give you a very brief introduction of what this playlist is all about. So in this playlist, we have been solving question based on logical building problem solving skills. So we started from a very basic question where we have solved a very basic question, very easy question. And from that, that day on, we have been increasing the bar like anything. As you can see on the screen, on each day we have solved different types of question and on each day we have increased the bar. Now we have a question which is that is check for Harshad number. So what is this and how we will be dealing it with so this is question 15 not question 23 this is question 15 and what we will be doing here is we will be checking implement a python function that checks if the given number is Harshad number the Harshad number given number uh, is an integer that is divisible by the sum of its digits so i will be explaining it to you that what does it mean and just before starting to solve this question guys do subscribe to the channel hit the like button press the bell icon button and bookmark the playlist so that you can get the updates from the channel now what we have to do in this question guys here is you have to check that whether the digit sum of digits is divisible by that number so uh, let's suppose we have a number is equals to 123 we have a number as suppose 123 and we have to check that this number if this number is divided divisible by sum of its digit so sum of digits will be equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 which will be equal to 6 so we have to say check whether this is this 6 uh, this 123 is divisible by some of the digits so we have to return true so we have to check check whether this number is divisible by by some of its digits so uh, as an example here uh, what we can see here is num is equals to 123 so 123 uh, divided by 6 will be equal to 0 so 123 divided by mod 6 if you say if you take uh, mod 6 should be giving me remainder is equals to 0 so this is what we have to do so this is false of course we already know that this is this will be returning me false value however if i take 12 as my number number is equals to 12 so the sum of digits will be sum of digits will be sum will be equal to 3 so this will be returning me true because uh, 12 mod 3 will be equal to 0 because uh, 12 divided by 3 will be equal to 4 this will be giving me 0 so it will be returning me true value and this will be equal to not true this is a false value so not equals to true not equals to zero so this is the this is what we have to do theoretically so let's start doing it practically and create a function create a method that will be that will that will be checking for a harshad number now we can write a function name is harshad number harshad number and this number this function will be taking any number let's suppose we are taking number as the parameter here and we will be just first of all writing a function to calculate the sum of its digits so to calculate the sum of its digits what we will be doing here is we, we have already discussed it in our day for 12 that how we will be doing it so to do that we can just do it one more time that to take out the sum of its digits i have already explained it to you in detail so i will be just quickly doing it in on my day 15th so if you want to watch it in detail you can just watch my day 12 tutorial where i have explained it in detail how we will be calculating some of its digits so on day 15 i'll be just doing it quickly so i will be saying that sum s is equals to s u double m is equals to zero and is equals to zero and i will be saying that while while num is greater than zero run the loop and in the in that loop what i will be writing here is i will be saying that digit is equals to uh digit is equals to num mod 10 this will be giving me remainder so if i have 123 as my value 123 let's let's take a 123 is equals to number number is equals to 123 as an example here example 123 is equals to number one number is equals to 123 now we are iterating it through 
a while loop and we are saying that what we are saying we are saying that digit is equals to num mod 10 so num mod 10 will be giving me 3 and this 3 should be added in my sum so i will be saying that sum plus is equals to what plus is equals to 3 but 3 is only valid for uh, if the number is 123 so what i will be doing here is i will be typing dynamically so i will be saying instead of 3 just uh, give me digit so digit will be giving me 3 and then on each iteration it will be changing accordingly but i have to change this 123 on each iteration so how i will be changing i have to change this 123 now into 12 so for changing this 123 into 12 what i can do here is i'll be saying that num is equals to num divided by 10 and this will be giving me something value as 1 point sorry 12.3 so this will be giving me value as value as 1 2.12.3 so if i convert this into integer this value is a decimal value so if i convert this into integer it will be giving me 12 so i can just write it like this if i just convert this into integer it will be giving me into uh, as 12 and the first iteration it is converted into 12 now in the second iteration it will be 1 and so on and so forth so uh, now now if i return sum return return sum and show it to you not it is not sum it is s double m s double m let's just take multiple cursor functionality of visual studio code and change simultaneously both of these values and if i say uh, a is equals or just directly print the print the function harshad number and if i take 123 it should be printing me value as 6 let's just run this code see it is coming 6 so what is happening here is guys that first of all i am taking a sum is equals to 0 and i am running a loop which is saying that if number when run the loop when number while number is greater than 0 and when the number will become will be less than 0 it will be just exiting the loop so i am also changing the number is equals to int more int divided by 10 so what is happening here is if i divide it by 10 it will become 10 12.3 12 so 12.3 12 i have to convert that into integer right so I'll be converting into integer through 12.3 divided by 10 and I'll be just writing integer here so that it should be converted into integer. Now after converting into integer it will become 12 and then in the first iteration it has become 12. In the second iteration what it will be happening uh, sum has already been incremented to 3. Now sum has been incremented to 3 and digit will be equal to num mod 10. So num has been become to 12 and the remainder of it will be 2. So sum plus 2 so sum is 3 so 3 plus 2 it will become 5 all right so 5 and then after that 5 now it will be in the second iteration what it will be happening value will be equal to value as uh, 12 and 12 divided by 10 will be equal to what 1.2 so 1.2 should be converted into 1 and now 1 1 should be added and this num this one will be again running through the loop and coming on the third iteration and this num will be added in my sum now 5 plus 1 why it will be 5 plus 1 because digit will be equal to num mod 10 so it will be 1 here all right num will be 1 here 1 mod 10 will be giving remainder as 1 all right it will be giving me remainder as 1 because it will be not be able to multiply it fully so it will be giving me remainder as 1 and then that 1 will be added in my sum variable and it will be exiting the loop now because the the num will be becoming 0 all right in the fourth in the third iteration now num will become 3 num will become 0 and then it will be exiting the loop and it will be returning me sum as my answer now we have understood it and we i have already discussed it on day 12 in depth that how it will be happening and i have already told it to you then not each iteration how it will be done doing uh, how, what would be the scenario and i will have just already told it to you in de deep now uh, the question here is what we have to do we have to check whether this number whether this number is divisible by the sum of its digit so if i say num mod sum is equal to zero which is not true which is not true which is false because one plus two plus three is equal to six and six 123 divided by six is not true if i print it separately if i say that print 123 
mod 6 is equal to 0 it should be printing me it this function will giving me a true value but this will be giving me a false value let's just say uh, uh, let's just run this code and show it to you and why it is uh, coming uh, this 120 is printing me a true value and this is printing me false value let's just i will just tell it telling it to you that why this will be happening so see uh, it is giving me true value and this is giving me false value so we know that it should return me false value this 123 divided by 6 should return me false value but according to the function it is not giving such value so why it is not giving such value because guys what is happening here is uh, i have to uncomment this because we have changed this number this number has been changed and it has become uh, one if i return this number if i return num and show it to you it has been changed it is not 123 anymore see it has become 0 it was initially 123 but through a loop we have just changed it to 0 so that why it's showing an error because it's saying that 0 mod sum is equal to 0 so of course it will return me true value so what I can do here is I'll be creating another variable that will be holding this my, my num so I'll be saying that original original num is equals to num and uh, this this original num if I print if I print original original num first of all I have to comment this value above and because it cannot return two values so first of all I have commented first value I have commented and second value I have to return and if I print this value it will be giving me 123 as my return value now this value I can compare because this is holding my original number now I can compare this value and with my sum is equals to zero now this will be giving me a false value if i run this, run this code for you uh, it will be giving me false value as our answer now take another example which is divisible by uh, which is divisible by some of its digits let's take 12 because 12 1 plus 3 1 plus 2 will be equal to 3 and 12 divided by 3 will be equals to 4 which is divisible by so uh, see true and false so this is how things will be working here and I suppose I hope that you have understood this question if you do so please comment down in the comment section that you have understood this question please guys do subscribe to the channel share it with your friends so that they can also get benefit from this playlist this playlist is very very important and very very beneficial for those guys who have been struggling with the with problem solving skills with logical understanding and they have been struggling to code so this uh, this guy this playlist will help those people who have been struggling to code and who have been struggling to build the logic so please guys do share it with your friends so that they can also get benefit and please guys do subscribe to the channel hit the like button press the bell icon button and bookmark the playlist so that you can get the updates from the channel thank you guys for watching this video and see you next time